Good afternoon, basketball enthusiasts, family, and friends, and welcome to NorCalSportsTV.com. We are here in Fresno, California, rainy Fresno, California, that is. So wherever you are, be safe, be dry, and settle in the next couple hours because you're going to have a chance to watch some outstanding high school basketball. We are here at Edison High School. Today is the MLK Super Saturday Showcase. The first game will tip off here momentarily between Fireball High School 
and the East Bakersfield Blades. We expect a great day. We have a lot of teams. We have some wonderful coaches, some wonderful veteran coaches, young co coaches, exciting teams, and this should be a wonderful day. Fireball, as you know, the home of Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen. So some of you may be in football mode, but perhaps for the next few hours, you'll think about the round ball hoops, and it should be a great day. East Bakerfield is coached by Jared Rendell. Fireball is coached by Marco Hercules. Marco was part of a 2015 championship team from Fireball, so we're looking for an exciting game. We're here at Edison. The gyms are newly renovated. It's a great facility. We have DJ Trev Entertainment in the background getting the crowd hyped up and playing some good jams, so I think you can probably hear it coming through the mic. I am Brian Fonseca, by the way. I am here with Jeremy Hurtado, our producer. Looking forward to a great day. We'll be back shortly with more and tip-off right around the corner. Ten seconds to play. They need another three to tie the game. Cupid, half court. Oh! Cupid knocks down the half court, ties the game. Oh, my goodness. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Welcome back. You're watching NorCalSportsTV.com, and in the background you hear DJ Trav Entertainment. DJ's working the pregame show. Great music, getting everybody pumped up, getting us all ready to go. I'm a little nervous today with all this great basketball we have. Our first game will tip off here momentarily. Fireball. Fireball will be in the red. Fireball, it currently comes in with a record of 9-6. and six. They won on Thursday over tr Tranquility. 54 to 48. So hello to everybody out in, in Fireball. Fireball, for those of you who don't know, is just about 40 miles to the west here in Fresno. So a lot of water out there. Be safe, everybody, in Fireball. They will be Fireball after today. They will take on Mendota on Tuesday. East Bakersfield, the Blades, they defeated Foothill earlier in the week, 65 to 43. On Tuesday, they will be at Arvin. They had a game last night at Tehachapi, and to be honest with you, I forgot to ask Coach about that in our pregame meeting. So they came in with a record of 7-10 and 10 going into last night's game. So here we go, Fireball in the red. They will be moving from right to left on your screen. East Bakersfield in the white, they'll be going, moving in left to right on your screen. So settle in for a couple hours. We should have wonder, wonderful basketball today. Ready for tip-off. Here we go, and we're off. Fireball controls it, kicks it on the right wing. Little dribble drive and spin, turn around, bucket. That's number four, Joey Lara with the turnaround. Nice bucket there to get this team off the snide. Fireball with the little 2-2-1. Two -two Press, little trap in the corner. East breaks it, but the ball's knocked away, and here goes Fireball the other way. Quick pass up the right side. Let's see what Fireball will run. That's Lucai Rubio on top. Hopefully we get the names perfect, too, for your families back home. And Rubai with the lefty score. You see him pumping up. That's two quick buckets for Fireball 4-0. Here come the Blades back the other way. Little drive. Might have been bumped. No call. Rebound. Strong. Lift fake. I think he's going to get called for travel. That was, that was Rubio on the take there with the turnover. You know, we don't have, here's the drive again. Kind of got down. I got a little bit low. 
You know, we do not have a 15 on the fireball ro roster, so I'm going to get that for you at halftime. I believe it may be Manuel Armendariz, so I'm going to check that. I apologize. There's a nice pass inside. Boy, fireball is coming off quick. Nice give and go. Doesn't go, boy. Everything looked good but the finish. And here come the blades the other way. Outlet, layup, block. And it looks like we're going to shoot two. Boy, lots of energy here early. Here's the shot. Just rolls off. And here come the blades. Nice long outlet pass. Good job getting back by the big fellow there. That was number 23. Norby Mendoza called for the foul. So Frankie Garcia. Excuse me. I have that backwards. I know I do have that. Frankie Garcia. You know, it takes a few minutes to get the colors and teams, so I apologize. Garcia, leading scorer for the Blades, makes the first 4-1. to one. Again, great day of basketball planned here. Tipping off with Fireball and East Bakersfield. Second one goes through 4-2. to two. Let's see what the Blades do. Bakersfield setting up in a little half court. Looked like they went to a little 1-3-1 one, one and then got out of it quick. Boy, Fireball is playing fast. Attacking the basket. Little turnaround, short. That was Salazar with the shot, a little bit short. Nice rebound. Pass inside, boy, nice passing early by Firebar. Firebar, again, the red underneath. Nice kick out. Can't quite see it deep from the corner. Looks like a three. And I believe that was number four, Joey Lara, deep in the corner. Fireball early, attacking and moving the ball quick. <clears throat> Tough to defend, 7-2. Fireball early drive here the other way in a bucket. And that's number one, John Martinez. Martinez, who was averaging a little more than eight points a game early in the year, he with the bucket, and it's seven to four. Both teams are fired up, playing with lots of energy. Here's that little runner, I would call, a little teardrop, floater, nothing but net. Seven four early, lots of activity here early. Okay, here comes Fireball, blades in a man. Blades having a little trouble controlling the penetration. Nice rebound, and there might have been some bumping. That's Jason Lara. Lara, number 10. It looks like we're going to have our first timeout. We'll be right back. Fireball on top, 7 to 4. One falling down. Welcome back, NorCal Sports TV and the MLK Super Saturday Showcase here in Fresno, California, Edison High School. And that was a good look there at DJ Trev, who's been in charge of pregame, bumping the music, getting everybody fired up. And I can tell you, it seems to be working because both these teams are coming out playing hard and fast. There's a three from the left wing, a little bit strong. That was Joey Lara. You just joined us, Lara buried one earlier from deep in that left corner. 7-4 Fireball. Fireball setting up in a little 2-2-1 pressure. East Bakerfield will inbound. 2-2-1 two -two is usually kind of a potpourri of press. Sometimes coaches will, will show it to disrupt the rhythm. Sometimes coaches will be very aggressive in that. So it looked like Fireball doing a little bit of both so far. Here's a little good kick to the corner. Martinez had a good look, a little bit strong, and here, come, here comes Fireball back the other way. Lara, coast to coast, pulls up, kicks it back to Lara, skips it on top. Nice drive there, boy. Excellent pass and early by Fireball. That three is going to be short, and Lara crashes the boards, gets a rebound. Gamez looked like he had a block there, but he's called for two. He thought he had one. Of course, not many players ever think they foul, so that's kind of typical on that. And I thought we were going to shoot two, but it looks like they're going to inbound it. Firebar going to what we call a box set there with four players spread out evenly on the key. Passing it around. Good look again. Fireball on the red. East Bakersfield on the white. There's a little 
Mid-range jumper following. Nice rebound. Ends up in the hands of Martinez. He's going the other way. Little left hand. And there's a call on this one. I believe he's going to shoot two on this, but I'm 0 for 2. Let's see if I get this one right. Call goes. Look like they are. They're lining up. They're going to shoot two. John Martinez. The roster has him at five foot three. That might be. I don't want to use the word stretch in it, Jeremy, but that might be. We'll, we'll go with five three in shoes. First one rattles off. Martinez early in the year, averaging a little over eight points a game. Quick so far this game. Second one is up around, doesn't go. Everything but in. That is rebound by number 15, and we don't have a 15 on our roster, so it may be Manuel Armendariz. We're going to check that at the halftime. Nice, strong rebound. Jump ball, alternating possession goes. We'll stay here to east right in front of us. Martinez inbounds it. Let's see if they run something back to him. Nice, strong drive there by, that's Gamez. Anthony Gamez with the bucket. Strong to the hole. Seven to six, a lot of energy here, here early. It's going to be a fun day here at the Martin Luther King Saturday Showcase. Edison High School, oh, nice pass inside. A little bit strong, might have got bumped. No call, coming the other way. Here comes Martinez, driven up the right side. Takes a look, little hesitation. He might have got tripped. And he's called for the travel. Might have been a little contact there. Both teams actually might have got a little contact, so I think the refs on that possession let it play on both ends. And here comes Fireball. East Bakerfield looks like they're setting up this time in a man-to-man. -man. Fireball early has shown a good job of just attacking the hoop. And that's Joey Lara, left-hander with the mid-range floater. 9-6 Fireball here early going. 3.54, first quarter. And settle in. It's a wet day out there in California, so it's a good day to settle at your couch and watch some great basketball. And speaking of great basketball, Anthony Gamez answers right back. Nine to eight. This has the feel of a pretty high-scoring game, at least early. Fireball with a little high give and roll. Gamez actually with the steal. And here come the blades the other way. That's Frankie Garcia dribbling up. Garcia number three. Fireball. In a little 1 2 2 zone, it looks like. Kind of a matchup zone. That ball is knocked away. Fireball steals it. Nice defense. Again, Fireball set up in a little 1 2 2. And there's another drive, and that looks like number 10, Lukai Rubio. So Rubio, the junior, with the bucket, 11 to 8. Fireball thus far getting the ball and just attacking the rim, attacking the rim. Here comes the other way, east, a three by Martinez. Doesn't go, and Fireball quickly the other way. That was Lara, that shot didn't go, and here come the blades back, but it's knocked away, and Lara, I think, is going to get called for the foul. Lara's probably kicking himself on this miss. Here comes Fireball, by the way. That was, that was Salazar, excuse me, with the finisher. Nice take. That's what Fireball's been very... Successful early drive into the hoop, drive into the hoop. 11-8. Wow, good game. Wake up. Brian Fonseca with you. Jeremy Hurtado, my wonderful producer, take care of me as always. 11-8, and it's great to be here on the NorCal Sports TV Network. 2.30 to go. Sometimes the teams come out fast and fierce, and now it's like everybody's taking a deep breath, myself included. 11 to 8. Martinez inbounds. That's stolen. And that's Edwin Lopez, number 22, there with the steal. Again, if you're just joining us, Fireball is in the, in the red. They're moving right to left on your screen. East Bakersfield Blades. Years ago, they were coached by longtime coach Milt Henderson. Used to see Milt out on the recruiting trail when I was a community college coach. Great guy. So I have fond memories of East Bakersfield. Milt's son, JR, actually played at UCLA. Probably showing my age there, but that was way back. But old timers, hello. And good Saturday. Again, very stormy day, so hopefully you're somewhere safe, dry, and with the big screen watching some great basketball. There's a block going the other way. I think that's going to stay with East. 
I have to learn to trust my monitors instead of trying to look through all these people, Jeremy. You've got me set up well, and I'm by myself looking here on the floor and just let's look at the monitor. So great setup here on NorCal Sports TV. Exciting day of basketball. X, two games going on simultaneously. And the other gym right now, Fowler is taking on Mendota. Two Central Valley teams there from the center part of the state between 5 and 99. So lots of great basketball today. And here again, Fireball and East Bakersfield. Ooh, nice little kick inside. Fireball's done a really good job of moving the ball early. That's 21 from the corner. That's a bucket also. And again, I will have to check that. We do not have a 21 on the roster, so I will check. I will check that first chance we get, but that was a three. So I apologize to the families there. We'll figure it out. It's probably just a number change, and we'll get that right as soon as we can. Coming the other way, East with a little turnaround. That was Noah Carreno. Noah's shot went long. 14 to 8. There's another three. A little bit long. No good. Carreno with the rebound. Here comes East. Garcia dribbles it up. A little hesitation. Kicks it back. Nice swing on both teams. Great energy here early. There's a three from the wing. A little bit long. No good. That was Gamez. And here comes Fireball the other way. Runner. Good. Boy, Lara gets it and goes. 16 to 8. Fireball. 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter. MLK Super Saturday Showcase. Edison, Edison High School. Fresno, California. Going the other way. That's stolen again. Going the other way, Fireball. That is Lopez again. Fireball going to slow things down again. 30 seconds, 25 on the shot clock. Thus far in the game, we haven't really needed a shot clock. And Martinez gets the loose. Crafty, creative, missed it. Trying to draw the foul. Maybe tried to sell that a little bit too much. Here comes Fireball the other way and a bucket. Wow, a quick turn of events there. 18-8 to eight Fireball. Looked like East was going to cut it to six. And in a flash of an eye, Fireball answers. 18-8, to eight, nine seconds. Ball's knocked around. Drive. Up and no good. Rebound. Shot. Strong. Frankie Garcia. Garcia drove in there strong, tried to draw the foul, pulled down his own rebound. Second shot, he got the foul. Now he's going to shoot two. Frankie Garcia, senior, 5'8". First one is good. 18-9. to nine. One and a half seconds left to go here, here in the first quarter. The pace has been fast, and Fireball seems to like that, pushing it up, pushing it up, pushing it up. Second one is good. Three-quarter heave doesn't go. And we played one, Fireball 18, East Bakersfield 10. You are watching the NorCal Sports Television Network. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. And we are back. Fresno, California. And there is my, I'm going to say that's my new man right there, DJ Trev, rocking the beats here. We are at Edison High School, the refurbished Edison High School. There's a good shot of DJ Trev again. And I got to tell you, I am fired up today. We have some great basketball planned all day. This is the first game. We are in the East Gym. I would call this the, the older gym, Edison High School. Great basketball traditions here in the Central Valley. Those of you who follow NBA, there was a gentleman named Bruce Bowen that played on the Spurs that actually went to school here at Edison. So great athletic tradition, and we are glad to be here. MLK Super Saturday Showcase on the NorCal Sports TV com network. And I'm Brian Fonseca with Jeremy Hurtado, our producer. And we've got a great gear here early. Fireball owned that first quarter, really attacking up 18 to 10. There's a little drive. 
And they're going to call that on the ground. That was Jacob Ramos. Boy, you don't see that call. Usually they give those to players, Jeremy. I was kind of surprised. The old school continuation, we'd like to call that. Here comes East. 18 to 10, fireball. I have some roster updates for you fireball fans, so if you'll hang in there with, pac with us patiently. And again, welcome to all, those to all you fans in fireball, and welcome to all you in Bakersfield tuning in today. So hopefully it's a little warmer and drier where you are, and you're settling in and watching some great hoop. That is... Frankie Garcia, that one went a little long, but East gets it back. Shot clock is down to six. This is the first time the shot clock has actually gone this low today. Nice strong rebound there by Mendoza coming in strong. He goes coast to coast, little lift fake, strong, doesn't go. Rolled out. Good take. We got up strong and made a good rebound. Here comes East. Gamas taking it. Fireball, what I would call a little 1 2 2 or perhaps a little 1 3 1 matchup zone. Looks more like a 1 3 1 they're playing. It might just be a straight up matchup zone. Everybody runs it a little bit differently. Nice drive and rebound. That didn't go. And here comes Fireball Boy doing what they do. They get out and run. Oh, it doesn't go. Salazar had a good look, just didn't go. Here comes East the other way. Diego Hernandez with the ball. East kind of slowing things down a little bit here. East probably wants a little slower pace than that the game has started out. From the corner, boy, he had a good look there. That was long. That was number five, Jacob Ramos. Hit back iron. He was dead on. Here comes Fireball the other way. A little pull up. Doesn't go. Joey Lara, boy, Fireball's had a lot of great looks, and the ball just has not rolled in, allowing East to hang around. 18 to 10. And I feel like I'm talking fast. I am excited. Boy, what a great day we have planned here. The music is great. You probably heard DJ Trev from DJ Trev Entertainment rocking the music. So it's going to be an exciting day, exciting day. Settle in, settle in, get your favorite drink, maybe a snack, and watch some great basketball. Fireball with a little high pick and roll out on top. He's playing a man-to-man -man early thus far. Game had a kind of a frantic first quarter, now slowed down a bit. Here comes East the other way off the turnover drive. Nice finish. Frankie Garcia. Frankie's the leading scorer for East. Early in the year, he was averaging right around 20 points a game, and that was a nice little runner. Right back comes Fireball, doesn't go. He's trying to cut this to four. Fireball had a 10 point lead briefly at 18 to eight. He's trying to chip in, and it just feels to me like this pace is a little more what East wants, a little bit more of a rhythm or a slower rhythm. And Gamez bangs it home, 18 to 14. Firebar wants to play a little more up-tempo, a little push. I think East Bakersfield would probably be content with just slowing the game down just a tad, making Fireball run their offense. And a little more, I would call that rhythm to the game, but I'm a slow old guy, so maybe that's what I'm calling a rhythm. These younger guys might want pace. There's a scramble on the floor. A lot of bodies after it. Let's see, it looks like it's going to stay here with the alternating possession. 18 to 14, Fireball. Fireball is coached by Marco Hercules. Marco actually graduated from Fireball High School and played on the 2015 League Championship team. Jeremy Marco was surprised when I knew that, and I kind of kind of winked at him that internet. That internet's a funny thing. So congratulations to Jeremy. And if I believe I have it right, they were actually the five seed in 2015. First round of the playoffs. There's a three goes deep. Rebound goes right to Garcia who missed it. I think that was so easy he just didn't expect it. And here comes Fireball the other way pushing up the floor. Kick it out. They've done it. They really get the ball up the floor quick. Inbound it from the side. So Marco Hercules head coach Fireball High School. Fireball about a population of just over 8,000 out in Central Valley. So Fireball. And there's a bucket. I believe that was Laura there. Laura with the white armband, 20 to 14. It was Laura, number 10. Thank you there, Jeremy. Laura's a sophomore. Looks like a good old combo guard playing some point and two. Does a little bit of everything. Here goes East. Again, there's a nice dribble drive. Pull up. One, two, three. Bounces. Good. Frankie Garcia. 20 to 16. 
East Bakerfield seem to found their rhythm now offensively. There's a quick drive. Ball is loosed. Coaches will often say against a team like Fireball, if you can just withstand that first few minutes because they'll come out with so much energy. And if you could just slow them down, have your kids just stay in there and play defense, and East has done that. And it looks like we're going to have a heck of a game. 3.23 left to go in the first quarter. I'm Brian Fonseca with you. Some of you may recognize me. I coached at Reedley College for many years, also at Columbia College. So a friend to load all my friends out there. And it's great to be here. Really exciting. Like I say, I'm nervous today. I had the butterflies today, and I just want to get these calls right for all these players. And great day here. Glad to be on the NorCal Sports TV Network. And there's a three. Does it go? Boy, that was in and out. Ball coming my way. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, can I be part of the game? Boy, you know, I like that, Jeremy, to actually be in the game while I'm calling the game. 20 to 16. Jeremy Hurtado, my wonderful producer, he kind of puts up with my bad jokes, too, so I appreciate that. Here's a little dribble drive shot, a little bit long. Ball is knocked around, and fireball with the rebound, and here they go. Push it up the right side. I should mention for fireball, number 21 is Vasquez. I believe it's Sebastian Vasquez. And number 15 is Inez Felix. So 21, Vasquez. 15 is Felix. I will check with Vasquez's name. We'll double check that. I believe it's Sebastian. 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 Ball is kicked to the corner. Again, 20 to 16. Both teams have settled in here a little bit. It does look like Fireball is playing a 1 3 1. I thought it was a 1 2 2, 1 3 kind of matchup zone. There's a drive, and he can score. Frankie Garcia kind of finds his way in there, bangs it off the glass. 20 to 18. East on a 10-2 run, so what was an 18-2 lead has been whittled away to 20 to 18. Here's a three, and I feel like I feel like that was my uh, jinx there, or my good luck charm, depending on how you look at it. Joey Lara with the three. That was a good-looking three. Nice rotation on the ball, pulled up, 23 to 18. Ball goes inside, around, and out. Mendoza with another strong rebound. Big fella showing a crossover. Nice pass. Mendoza with some good skills there. Going coast to coast. I get out there and guard him. Oh, in and out. Boy, that looked good. Laura seems to like that spot on the floor. That one looked like that was going down around and out. 23-18, fireball. Ball is kicked to the corner. High arcing shot there. That's number 11, Noah Barrison. And here comes fireball the other way. Pass it up. Boy, they get it and go. I'm tired just watching Fireball push that ball up, but they really get the rebound and go and go and go. Fireball also doing an excellent job of handling the ball. They haven't turned it over. I want to say it all early in the game. And we're going to have a shot clock. I don't know if that was reset completely. That looked quick. I don't know if that was 30 seconds. You know, the shot clock has not been needed very much in this game, and I don't know if that was reset. I'll have to take a peek at that myself. To be honest, that's only about the second time I've looked at it, Jeremy, to be honest. Uh, so I just think, I just wonder if that was reset. But here we go. East will take it, 23-18. 47 seconds to go in counting. East taking their time. When East has slowed the game down, their offense has been more effective. So let's see what they do. Martinez kind of surveying. Martinez, I have a feeling, is, is going to pick a spot here to try to attack somewhere. Ball goes to the corner. Ten on the shot clock. There he goes. Drive. Oh, nice pass. Call for the travel. That's a tough call. I thought he could have dropped a bounce pass there. Boy, what a nice move. Martinez, here he goes. He kind of picked his spot, got in there. Here could, and you see the pass. Oh, that looked nice. I don't know. I don't know. 23-18, 15 seconds to go. There's Laura in the corner, driving. He loses it, gets it back, kicks it out top. Three from the top, doesn't go, bounces off. Three seconds to go, that was Martinez. 2-1, coast to coast, doesn't get it off. So after opening up a 10-point lead, East Bakerfield had cut the lead to five. We're at halftime, fireball 23, East Bakerfield 10. And you are watching the NorCal Sports Television Network.
Oh, that's a tough miss right there. It's always good to get off to a good start. Here's your second one falling down. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California.
10 seconds to play. They need another three to tie the game. Cuban, half court. Oh! Cuban knocks down the half court, ties the game. Oh my goodness. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. Ab Locker. For anybody, anytime, anywhere. Strengthen your core and improve overall endurance. Feel better about yourself. Set your own standard and eliminate the worry of wondering what to do about the task of core strengthening. It doesn't matter who or how old you may be. The Ab Locker will meet you wherever you are physically to help you be more fit for life. Ab Locker Fitness. Get locked in. To learn more, go to ablockerfitness.com. One falling down. Oh, that's a tough miss right there. It's always good to get off to a good start. Here's your second one falling down. Welcome back to NorCalSportsTV.com. Brian Fonseca along with Jeremy Hurtado here. We are in rainy and cold fresno california we don't always think of rain and cold with fresno but it's today so wherever you are be safe and stay dry out there there's a lot going on there's actually the edison coach mike fulford right there on your screen we are in game there's two games going on in the other gym fowler is actually leading mendota heading into the fourth quarter and right here we have the fireball eagles leading the east bakersfield blades 23 18 and yes that is the same fire fireball as josh allen quarterback of the bills and I have a little connection with Josh in that I coached at Reedley College for many years, and he played there. I'll leave it at that. And I was a quarterback too, Jeremy, but not like Josh. So here we go, 23-18. It's been a heck of a first half. Let me give you some um, numbers. Fireball, we, at halftime we got some um, numbers and correct. So number one is Anthony Fernandez. Two is Manuel Armanderis, I believe. I'm going to pronounce that right. Four is Joey Lara. 10 is Jonathan Salazar. Fireball is in the red, by the way, and they're coming right at you. They're 
moving from left to right on your screen. And Inez Felix is number 15. So those are your Fireball Eagles to start. The game was a little bit of two first halves, if you will. Fireball came out early, picking up the tempo, attacking. Jumped out to an early 18 to eight lead. And then East was able to slow things down a little bit, run their offense, and actually had cut the lead to two before a three bar Laura extended the game the score to 23-18, and that's where we're at as we start the second half. East inside and a bucket. And I believe that was Bomber with the bucket inside. Nice play by East, 23-20. Frankie Garcia, number three out there for East. Adela Z. Balmer, I believe is how he pronounces his name. And there's a three doesn't go for East. Anthony Gamets is in there also. Fireball maintains the rebound. That's Felix. Boy, Felix strong in there. Nice rebound. Here's a little drive by Laura. A little hesitation. Excuse me, by Salazar, number 10. A little hesitation in the bucket. 25-20, and that's how Fireball jumped out early by driving and penetrating. That's eight now for Salazar. He had six in the first half. Laura, number four, by the way, led his team in scoring with 12 in the first half. For East, it was Frankie Garcia, number three, with 10, and Anthony Gamez with six. There's a drive. Nice defense that time by. Oh, we had we had officials with different things. I don't know if they saw that. Jeremy saw that too. The old coaching me, you kind of noticed those things. And the travel's called. One of the other officials might have had a foul call, but we'll let it go. Great work by the officials. It's such a tough job, and we appreciate all their work. And fun day here in Fresno. And there's in three by John Martinez. So Martinez cuts the lead to two at 25-23. I believe Martinez had four in the first half, I believe. So we're going to go unofficially. That's his first three of the game. 25-23. East playing a man-to-man, -man, what I would call a contained man-to-man, -man, where you're playing man, but not necessarily pr pressuring, trying to keep in front of people so you can get rebound and advantages, as I said that. There's a good penetration by far, but baby, here we go. So East with a chance to tie the game. 25-23 fireball. Gamez dribbles left side, kicks it across. Floater, runner doesn't go. That was Martinez. And he's going to be shooting, too. I've got to say, Martinez is fun to watch. He kind of has that look. You kind of look at him and think, gosh, this guy, can he be a player? And all of a sudden, he's quick, he's fast, he's crafty. I think he kind of lulls, lulls people to sleep. Easy for me to say, lulls. A little bit of a sandbagger, I would call that. Doesn't quite look at it, and then boom, he's got in the gap. He's penetrated. Tough, crafty. Missed the first free throw. Let's see if he'll get the second one. Chance to cut the lead to one. Up and around and good. 25, 24, 5.15 to go. Here at the Martin Luther King Super Saturday Showcase. Shot no good. So East with the chance to take the lead. Martinez with it. Kicks it back to Gamez. Gamez drives to the right. Back to Martinez. And he's going to be called for an offensive foul. Put his head down, might have lowered his shoulder. Let's take a look at it. Yep. Two players, he might have actually split them, but that was a nice job of selling it by Fireball. It sure looked like a charge from where we were sitting. And I didn't see either the coach complaining on that call either. Speaking of coaches, Marco Hercules, coach of Fireball, and Jared Rindell. Rindell actually coached the girls also, so he is a blade through and through. And Marco Hercules played for Fireball and was part of that league championship team 2015. 25-24, a little drive here, nice pass inside, short, but I think we're going to go foul. Fernandez on the drive, kind of an old school shovel pass, got it into 15 Felix. 
Here's that drive. He drives. He just kind of pushed it. Felix got his hands ready. He's going to shoot too. Nice play. Nice play. Nice pass. Inez Felix. He's listed as a power forward. 6-2, Junior. That shot was a little bit strong. Felix wearing 15. Anthony Fernandez is in there. Edwin Lopez, number 22. Shot goes around and out. Jonathan Salazar and Joey Laura. That's your fireball lineup currently. I'll try and get you that East group here in a minute. 25-24. And into the gym watch Brad Felder of Hanford High. I have to take a second and acknowledge Coach Felder. Coach Felder, the winningest coach in the central section, I believe, if I have it. Over 570 wins. That cour courteous of my dear good friend Mark Hatton at Tulare Union. So we're looking forward to the Hanford game later. And 25-24, drive, shot up, strong, doesn't go. It's going to stay here. That was Jonathan Salazar on the drive. 4.03 left to go. Early in the game, Fireball took it strong to the hoop and was able to convert some of those drives. Now, since then, they've been around the hoop, but they just haven't been able to run off a string of points. Let's see if they can get it going here. And there's Martinez with the rebound. East is going to walk it up. You can see the difference in styles. East likes to walk it up. Run their sets. Fireball likes to get it and go. So two contrasting styles. Very entertaining game here early. Very entertaining game. This kind of has the feel of the game that's going down to the wire. And Martinez a little bit short on the three. Garcia ball kicked right back to him. He's going to pull. That looked good from here. That was also short. Rebound inside. Bucket. And that looked like Carreno, I believe. 33. Noah Carreno with the rebound and bucket. And East now on top, 26-25, and right back goes Joey Lara. East working so hard to get that lead, and as soon as they got it, Fireball came right back. Lara with the bucket, 27-26, Fireball. East working it around. Martinez, little dribble drive again, kicks it. Another three doesn't quite go. Boy, Garcia seems to have it. The rain's dialed in. He just can't get it going. That looks like it's going to come to come this way east. Excuse me, fireball. Fireball moving left to right on your screen. 27-26. Some substitutions here. Let me give you the east lineup. 15, Danny Gamez is out there. 32, Bomber. Martinez is number one. Three is Garcia. And number 11, Noah Barrison. So that's the east lineup. And that's stolen by Garcia. Garcia, a little hesitation, pull up. He's crafty, oh, a little bit strong. Nice defense by Salazar holding his ground, and we have a whistle. And it was a shot clock, so gonna reset. 27-26, fireball. East, man-to-man, -man. it looks like we're gonna have a There's a warning there, a warning. I don't know if that's to lay a game or a warning to the coach. There may have been. We're kind of in the right side, and I'm an old coach myself, so I probably don't hear that uh, coach talk as much, but so I have a warning. Salazar dribbles, kicks it to. That's Sebastian Vasquez, number 21. There's a three from the top, a little bit strong. Nice rebound by Bomber. Here comes East. Again, East to walk it up. And as East has slowed the game down, or maybe I should say control the tempo, the game has kind of gone to their favor. Fireball led early. Fireball led early at 18 to 8. And since then, East has kind of methodically, I would say, controlled the game. My producer Jeremy Hurtado is agreeing with me. It just seems like as the game has slowed down, it seems to be more to the style that East is comfortable with. Martinez and Garcia out on top. Both of those two are crafty. They get in the gaps, handle the ball well. Martinez from the left wing, got it. John Martinez, senior. Puts East out on top, 29-27, and we'll be right back. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. You're watching NorCal Sports Television Network.
on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. Welcome back, Fresno, California, Edison High School and the NorCal Sports TV Network. Brian Fonseca with you today, and it's a pleasure to be here along with Jeremy Hurtado. The sounds of DJ Trev rocking in the background. He's kind of got me going a little bit, actually, here. That's why I'm behind the camera, right? Not in front of it, but... And thank you to all of our sponsors. We appreciate your support here on the NorCal Sports TV Network. And we've got a good one here in Game 1. Fireball and East Bakersfield. Here's a drive by Fireball. Bucket around and doesn't go. Salazar with the rebound. I believe he's going to shoot. 29-27. East is out in front. Fireball actually led by 10 early in or late in the second quarter, 18-8. And since then, East has methodically kind of taken... Taking control of the game might be strong, but they've definitely controlled the tempo a little bit. And here's Salazar with shooting two. The lefty shoots. It's up and good. 29-28. Salazar had six in the first half. Mendoza, Felix, Laura, Fernandez on the floor for Fireball. Second one is up, around, and good. 29-29. Minute 45 to go here in the third quarter. The made free throw allows Fireball to set up in their trap. A little bit of a 2-2-1 press. And that's definitely what Fireball wants. They want the game with a little bit of pace, a little bit of tempo. Pass inside, doesn't go. Gamis, Danny Gamis had a good look, doesn't go. And here comes Fireball, a minute 24 to go. East has done a good job defensively keeping Fireball on pass, but nice little give and go there. Salazar threw a dime there to Mendoza. He may have slipped that screen. Mendoza may have came up and act like he was going to screen. They call that sometimes a ghost screen. I don't know if he actually said it, but nice play. And with that, we've got a timeout. So Coach Rendell calls a timeout. East Bakersfield on top, 31-29. We'll be right back. All the way up from Los Angeles, from we Los just Angeles. heard that. What made you put Miles Little into the camp? Well, you know, we were looking for an overnight camp that would really help develop his sort of independence. Um, and this looked like a beautiful setting for the kids um, and also really foster his independence, meet new people. And I want to say one of the best, best things about this um, camp, this particular camp, is the ability to see the games uh, live streamed on YouTube. It allows you to not be at camp, but also still participate in that particular part of camp. And so I thought that was really amazing. The announcers were great. The angles, the instant replay, it really made the kids feel special. Would you bring Miles Little back oh, up to camp? For sure, 100%, and we're bringing friends. I think um, one of the wonderful things that I saw when I came to pick him up is how um, collegial, supportive um, the older boys are with the younger boys. And I think that that, um, is really heartening for me because that's how I want my boy to be when he grows up. And so I think that he has some really great um, examples. Of Welcome back to the NorCal Sports TV Network. Fireball 31, East Bakersfield 29. This game has gone back and forth here in the third quarter. Fireball with an early lead, 10 point lead in the second quarter. East has chipped away and now these teams are going back and forth. 
Little pass inside. Ball is dropped. And it looks like we're going to have a jump ball. Let's give you that East lineup. Garcia is number three. Rubio, number 10. Gamez, number four. Garcia, three. Martinez, one. 31 29. Just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Fernandez on top, kicks it over here to Lara. Lara drives, floater, runner, just short. Ball's kicked out. Barrison gets it. He's going to push it up. 30 seconds to go. He's bumped. I think we're going to have a foul there. And that's Felix. Felix, one of those guys who's pretty strong, much like his teammate Mendoza. When they bump a guy, he's probably going to get a foul call, result in a foul. Bakersfield taking it out right in front of their bench. See if Coach will dial something up here. Coach Jared Rindell, excited to be here today. Had a nice chat with him pregame. As did I with Coach Hercules of the Fireball Eagles. Looks like they're looking at something on the, at the clock, maybe a reset or a foul. 31-29, here we go, inbound. You see Fireball setting up in there. 1-3-1, one, one. matchup zone. There's a shot from the corner, a little bit short. Rebound by the Blades, doesn't go. That's Rubio with the rebound. And here comes Fireball pushing up the far side. Laura on the left wing. He's going to drive right, scoop shot, and go. 33-29, six seconds to go in the quarter. Martinez shoots one up. It's short, but it's rebounded, doesn't go. Garcia had a good look. We've played three. Exciting basketball, Fireball, Eagles 33. East Blades, 29, we'll be back with the fourth quarter. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. And welcome back, fourth quarter. That's DJ Trev bumping the beats. Welcome to the NorCal Sports TV Network. And thank you to all our sponsors for the MLK Super Saturday Showcase here in Fresno. Edison, here comes Fireball doing what they do best, and that is running. And Salazar converts. Off the turnover, this is what they do. They can run. Nice pass by Laura, kicks it over. Martinez with the quick hands. Tough call on the foul. Shooting the chance for the AM one and three point play, and he's got it. Jonathan Salazar extends that lead back up to seven at 36 29. A little bit reminiscent of the first half. And there's a steal and bucket. That's 15 Felix. Great anticipation. And Coach Rindle's going to take a timeout. 38. 29, Fireball, we'll be right back. Ten seconds to play, they need another three to tie the game. Cuban, half court! Oh! Cuban, knocks down the half court, ties the game! Oh my goodness! And we're back, NorCalSportsTV.com. You see the 
summer basketball camp. What a tremendous, what a tremendous event. So if you had a chance, check it out. Summer's coming flat, fast. It's already January. And what a tremendous back basketball camp opportunity for the young people in your lives. So here we go. 38-29. Fireball on a little bit of a run here. Extending their lead to nine. East kicks it. There's Martinez. Big shot here. Doesn't go around and out. Felix with the rebound. Fire by our chance to extend their lead over 10. Nice. Jonathan Salazar with the drive. Nice extension and the bucket, 40 to 29. East may be a little bit worn down now. Here in the fourth quarter, seven minutes to go. They definitely need a hoop. Gamez takes a look. That is going to be stolen by Laura. Laura brings it the other way. Nice pass. Lara to Salazar, that seems to be the winning combination. Joey Lara kicks it to Jonathan Salazar. 42-29, fireball. And 10 second call. The shot clock was at 24. I thought that might have been a little bit quick, but either way, it looked like a 10. And fireball now here on a run. I believe that's an 11-0 run, but it may actually be more than that, but we're gonna stick with that. 42-29. East had briefly taken the lead, and since then it's been all fireball. Salazar pulls up, and he is feeling it. Jonathan Salazar, the 5'11 senior, is feeling it. 45-29. He just knocked down a three, and we have another turnover. Laura with it. Sometimes you're playing, you can just feel the momentum switch. Laura drives, back iron and strong and no good. Rubio might have gotten bumped there. Hopefully he's okay. Bomber checks into the game for East. Diego Hernandez, number two, also in for East, along with Carreno, 33. Little pick and roll, high pick and roll. Nice defense, Hernandez rotated over. Ball went off him. Nice pick and roll, Mendoza thought he had a path to the basket. Pass goes inside, does it go? Mendoza, good look, nice pass. 45-29. 16 point lead, largest lead of the game for Fireball. Garcia, that's where coaches, when you're behind, you're glad to have a three-point line. You just never know. Rebound inside by Correno and then had it stripped. We have a jump ball. And I believe it's going to stay white. Now we have a timeout fireball. So with fireball out on top, 25, 45 to 29, and we'll be right back. Maverick Screen Printing is a proud sponsor of Sanger Athletics. Contact us for fan gear, banners, embroidery, team sales, fundraisers, and custom athletic jerseys. Mention this ad and receive 10% off your next order. Call 559-399-3639. That's 559-399-3639. Come on down to Sticky Icky Barbecue, located in historic downtown Sanger. We're serving up delicious fall-off-the-bone ribs, juicy tri-tip, brisket, and pulled pork. Don't forget to try our famous meat candy. It's pork belly smothered in a sweet honey barbecue sauce. Located at 628 O Street, Sanger, California. And we're back, NorCal Sports TV. MLK Super Saturday Showcase, Edison High School, Fresno, California. Stay safe out there wherever you are. Get yourself comfortable, settle in, and watch some great basketball coming to you. Right now it's Fireball on in the midst of a 16-0 run. East had br briefly taken the lead at 29-27 late in the third quarter, and Fireball has responded with a 16-0 run. Thought it might have been 18-0. That was a round and out. Here goes East. Still time to go, five, I wouldn't say plenty of time, but there's enough time. They're gonna need to get some scores and some stops, so, and there's a shot goes a little bit long. 
by Barrison, who had a good look. 4.55 to go. Salazar drives, kicks it. There's a pull up by Vasquez, a little bit short. Garcia, I would look for Garcia here to try to make some things happen. He's the leading scorer. Nice pass. Nice little shovel pass to Diego Hernandez, and that stops the run at 16. 45 31, fireball. Oh, nice give and go there. A little bit strong, but rebound. Fireball with a little give and go. Felix came in there strong, missed it. But Lopez was there to clean it up, and Lopez was hammered, as they said. He's going to shoot a pair. Lopez is 6-1, junior. First shot is up, and short. Fireball will be at Mendota on Tuesday. Second shot is up, and it is around, and no good. Hernandez gets it, 45-31. Garcia drives, pivots, looking for a teammate, found one. Kick out. Nice ball movement here by East. Little drive. Bounce once, bounce two, and it goes in. So Noah Barrison, the sophomore with the bucket. And here comes East. 45-33. That's four in a row unanswered. Foul there by Bomber on the pass inside. That is the seventh team foul for East. So an interesting point in the game with the one and ones. Double bonus will come at 10 fouls. So the next three fouls, technically, I always think of these as swing points. Fireball has a chance to pick up two here. If you miss them, might give East a little window to get back in the game. Free throws up and good. Lopez hits the first, 46-33. Free throws from the bonus, the one and one, or a little bit of momentum swing. So that was a Lopez putting an end to the Bakersfield run, and the second one is good. Free throws, free throws. Boy, you make free throws, and the game looks easy, easy peasy, as we'd like to say. 47 33. Fireball. Fireball stays in that 2 2 1. Barrison drives, kicks it inside, turn around, a little bit short. Nice rebound, doesn't go. Bomber had a good shot at that. Tough in there, you're getting bumped around. Knocked up high, knocked low, and couldn't quite put it in. Here comes Fireball the other way from the corner. Vasquez, big shot, 50 to 43. Hernandez trying to break the press, he does. Kicks it up, nice pass up. Foul, shot doesn't go. Hernandez with a little dribble hesitation was able to break that press. Barrison, the 5'9 sophomore. He's going to shoot a pair. And the officials are. I didn't see a call. Jeremy, we'll see what happened there. Almost looks like they may have called a technical there somewhere. So. Looks like maybe there was a technical called on fireball after the foul, almost like a flagrant foul. We'll see. We have kind of a tricky angle. So East is going to shoot the two. There was a foul on the play. So Barrison, Noah Barrison will shoot a pair. 50 to 33, 220. We, we're, seated on the, we're seated on the corner of the court, so we have a little funky angle as far as trying to pick up hand signals and sign language. It did look like a T. Jeremy, our producer, coach, and a little bit of everything, kind of a renaissance man. He thinks it was on East. I, I believe you're correct. It looked like that was called on East. So I think we're going to come the other way and shoot the tech. Might have been a tech on number 11, it looked like, based on the hand signals. So Laura's going to shoot a pair, 50 to 33. Around, and that one is in, 51-33. Joey Lara, 5'10", junior. 
second one is around and good. 52-33. So the technical may have actually been on the coach. There, again, we just couldn't quite see the hand language, but it looks like it was sign language of the officials. But 52-33. Looks like the scoreboard scoreboard here at the gym may have put it on the wrong time, but we've got it right. 52-33. Lopez goes strong. Didn't get that to go. He sees some buckets now and in a hurry. If Garcia just will pull one here, he's got to get it going. He's the leading scorer. Didn't quite go back iron. Nice rebound, kick out. They're going to swing it to Garcia again. He's got a good look at this one. Rattled it in. 52-36. Fireball pushes it up. it would be interesting to see if Fireball plays a little slower because they've gone fast the whole game. We've got a quick 30 with 2.47 to go. 52-36. We'll be right back. And we're back, Fresno, California, Edison High School. There's DJ Trev, from DJ Trev Entertainment. DJ Trev is rocking the pregame show. I shouldn't say rocking, it's more like bumping. Play great music all day, really exciting game. Fireball in East Bakersfield. Fireball jumped out to an early lead, 18 to eight. East Bakersfield kind of chipped away and chipped away and chipped away. Actually took the lead at 29 to seven late in the third quarter. And from, all, from then it's been all fireball as they 52-36. Fireball will end down with 247. Fireball likes to play really fast and up tempo. We'll see what they do here if they milk the clock a little bit or if they just go. And I think they answer that question. They go right to the hoop. Kick out, shot, no good. But Lar is there to clear the rebound. 2.36 to go. Eastwood needs some turnovers and maybe a couple threes to try to sneak back in this game. But that's where the three-point line, crazy things can happen. Kick it out to Lara. They are being a little more patient than normal, I would say. That's a tough shot. It's a tough angle. Rebound to Carreno. And there's going to be a foul on red. Coast Hercules would probably rather see the clock just run there, up 16 with 2.17 to go. Substitutions. Anthony Fernandez is in. The fireball. Here comes East. Hernandez, Diego Hernandez gets a shot, is blocked. And a foul is called. Looked like there was a lot of ball there. But East will take it, that's for sure. Shooter in a pair. 205 left to go. Diego Hernandez, Jr. Shot is up and a little bit strong. Hanford and Stockdale will be up next. Stockdale also from Bakersfield, like East Bakersfield. 52 to 37. Now East will imply some pressure. Second one was good by Hernandez. Oh, nice baseball pass. Nice play design. Lara with the full court pass. Well designed there by Fireball as East came up for the full time full court pressure. Fireball slipped its guards back. Nice play. Nice play call. Coach Hercules, a nice execution by his team. Rebound, minute to go, minute 40 to go. Fireball up 17. They have slowed it down just a little bit here. Impressed all game with Fireball's speed and their ability to attack. Salazar goes to the hoop. Maybe was looking for a foul there, no call. There was three defenders. Refs probably aren't going to give you that. 
And Salazar steals it back. 117 to go. Fireball again. Fireball fans will be at Mendota on Tuesday. East will host Arvin also on Tuesday, January 17th. Little runner and that's called on Bakesfield, so Salazar will shoot a pair. We hope wherever you are, you're enjoying your Martin Luther King weekend. MLK Day is on Monday, technically, but it kind of feels like an MLK weekend and lots of good basketball going on. Salazar hits the first, and we are at Edison High School, refurbished Edison High School. We are in the original gym, what they call the West Gym, and the East Gym is brand new. Second one is second free throw is good. 56, 37 minutes to go now. Fireball with very impressive first 10 minutes of the game and very impressive last 10 minutes. Little runner pass is knocked away. I thought Garcia kind of fooled me on that. I thought he was going to shoot it, and instead he passed it off to Ramos. Substitutions for Fireball. That looks like Alvarez into the game. Alvarez and Santian into the game for Fireball. 56-37. East will inbound it on the far side. In the story of this game, early in the late in the third quarter, East actually took the lead at 29 to 27. And since that point, it's been all Eagles. Deep three by Garcia. Diego Hernandez gets the rebound. That doesn't go. Jonathan Salazar with the rebound. And that's probably going to do it here. Looks like Fireball is going to hold it. With 20 seconds to go. He's playing man-to-man. -man. Fireball jumped out early. East chipped away and took the lead in the third quarter. And once again, from that point in time, 29-27, fueled by a 16-0 fireball run. It's been all Eagles. And with East in bonus, we're, with East Bakersfield in the bonus, we're going to shoot a one-on-one. -on -one. Joey Lara, the junior. Joey Lara, Jonathan Salazar, two impressive guards. Quick pass, could shoot it, do a little bit of everything. Shot is up and doesn't go. Six seconds to go. That's just about do it. Let's see if East can get up a shot here. Nice pass there. And nice, unpa nice unselfish pass by Frankie Garcia. And that's going to do it here. Game one. Fireball. 56. East Bakersfield. 37. You've been watching the MLK Super Saturday Showcase on NorCal Sports TV. Stay tuned. We're going to have more games. We will be back with the stockdale Hanford game. And the other gym is Selma and Independence. So I am Brian Fonseca for Jeremy Hurtado. Thanks for being with us. And stay tuned. More great basketball to come here on the NorCal Sports Television Network.